How's it going? Army Genie here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be looking at what ships or vehicles will fit inside the Drake Cutter. As usual, I picked a few ships that I thought had a chance of fitting, and to me, fitting means it's stable and it's not rattling around and you can safely QT with it. As a side note, I also wanted to see if the Cutter would fit inside the Hercules like the other starter ships, but she's just too big. Unfortunately, I don't think ships in ships is just going to be a thing with this one. The P-72 Archimedes can get its nose in and that's about it. I couldn't even get it in far enough to be stable in the cutter's gravity. Next up is the Knox. Thank you. The police is here. Initially driving in, it definitely felt like the Knox was going to be too long. But if you get it right up against that back wall, it fits great. It's tight, but closing the door is no problem. I'm pretty sure with a little patience and determination you could get two Noxes back here. Next up is the Hoverquad. You're definitely only going to get one in here, but as expected after seeing the Nox, it fits pretty great. Next is the STV. This one was a little bit tricky, but if you back it in and you get it right up against that left wall of the ship, it actually does fit pretty well. It's a little weird getting in and out, but it's okay otherwise. Reaching the door controls is no problem, but there's a small pillar that sticks out of the wall near the rear wheel. So you do have to do a little hop to get back there. Otherwise there's plenty of room. There's even room in the back to get to the storage. Next one we got is the Mule. Being Drake, I had really high hopes that this guy would fit. I'm happy to say it's a match made in heaven. You just have to back up a little bit from the back wall so that there's room for the doors to open. There's also no good way to get to the buttons to close the rear ramp, but you can do that from the cockpit, so it's not really a big deal. Also, to exit the cutter, that means you have to open the doors from the cockpit and then drive out in the Mule. For the next one, I wasn't able to get any video, but I did get a bunch of screenshots. Much to some people's disappointment, I'm sure, the rock just won't fit in the back with the door shut. It seemed like it was going to work, and then it just stopped. It appears to be just a little bit too high for the cutter's ceiling. The good news is that this is a totally viable option if you just want to pick up your rock from an outpost and take it a little bit away to do some mining. You'll only have a problem if you try and QT somewhere, because the door will automatically shut. For short hauls, it was surprisingly stable. Finally, we have another one that I really hoped would work, the Drake Dragonfly. I tried straight in, I tried diagonally, I tried a few different ways, and there wasn't really any way to get it to close reliably without freaking out. Dragonfly is just a little too long. The last Dragonfly attempt left the Dragonfly and the Cutter spinning off into space in different directions. I didn't get to try the PTV, but after testing all the other vehicles, I can pretty confidently say that it's going to fit nicely. That's all for this one. Let me know what else I missed, and thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and like if you liked it, and subscribe for more. Until next time, see ya!